Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Messy Vegan Mama. My name is Michelle. Um, today, I actually have a weird kind of video for you, but if you do like this video, uh, hit the like button, but also let me know in the comments and I'll make more like this. Um, I usually do a lot of grocery haul videos, but I've been realizing that I don't really share my thoughts on the things that I try that are new from these stores. So I kind of wanted to do just a little mini review on some of the things I've bought over the past few weeks. And in addition to that, I want to show you around my kitchen and just show you different things that I use that I absolutely love because a few of you have been commenting and asking like, where did you get that? Well, I can tell you, Mostly everything is from Amazon. <laughs> I don't really buy too much from Amazon right now. Um, I try to limit myself because you can be just, you can be shopping all night on Amazon. It's so easy to just spend all of your money. But I do wanna show you some of the things that I've bought in the past that are just amazing. So, I thought I would do that today. It is going to be a pretty long video, so buckle up. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button. And if you are liking my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get right into this like little mini review of some things that I've tried recently. So I just put out a video, I'll link it here, of my Whole Foods haul from this past weekend. And one of the things I did get from there is this Get Relaxed Tea. <sighs> this tea is so good. I actually opened it up right after I made that video and smelled it and it just, it smells amazing. It's just, it smells relaxing. So I tried it today as an iced tea and it's just phenomenal. So I will absolutely buy this again it's uh, Be Well Teas, and you can find that at Whole Foods. It's amazing. I don't know if you can find it anywhere else, but yeah, I wanted to give you that review because it was so good, and I want like I want this like every day. So I got that, um, and then another review from Whole Foods. I just bought these over the weekend too. I haven't tried the plain ones, but plain pita chips are just going to taste like pita chips. So I'm not really concerned about the flavor of those, but these garlic and herb ones, these are so, 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 so good. You need them. Um, I can't even explain it. They just have so, it's like a punch of flavor in your mouth and it's not like overwhelming garlic, but it's just so flavorful. Perfect for dipping in hummus, um, whatever dip you have. So I highly suggest getting those if you do go to Whole Foods. And then a few things from Trader Joe's that I have gotten in the past few weeks. This is the um, apricot preserves. Um, these, this is really good. Somebody suggested just putting it on toast and I did that and it was super yummy. I do want different suggestions, like what else can I use it for? Um, maybe make, um, I was thinking of making like donuts with this as a filling. I don't know, that sounds interesting. I try to make healthy, fun things <laughs> that my child might eat. Um, but yeah, so I did like it a lot. It's super tasty, I love apricots. Is that how you say it? Apricot, apricot? I say apricot, I don't know. But it is really tasty, so I, I do suggest getting that. And then my last little review item is this Spindrift. I showed this to you a few weeks ago. I don't have any left. I did like them. Um, they definitely taste like grapefruit, which I think it's the first ingredient. It's refreshing to have on a hot summer day. Um, I don't know if I would buy them again, though. I don't know. I mean, they were really good, but I'm just like more of a water kind of person. I don't really like um, the sparkling water usually. So there were days where I tried it and I was like, eh, I don't like it. And then there were some days when it was like super hot and I did like it. So I don't know, maybe it goes along with the weather. So 
that's that. And I'm going to try to give you reviews a little bit more often so that you know what my thoughts are on these products that I do buy and show you. So that's that. I will um, jump right into things in my kitchen. One quick thing I did want to show you is it has nothing to do with my kitchen, but because of what's been going on in Canada with all the wildfires, um, I needed a really good air purifier and I bought this from, I think it's Lavoite. I'll link it below, but this has been a lifesaver for so many reasons. My son has allergies and um, the wildfires were really getting to him with his breathing, but for me it was fine. But yeah, this was a lifesaver to help him out in his bedroom and it's like, it's not that big. It kind of looks big next to me but it's really not that big and it's quiet. It's super, super, super quiet. And you can just kind of like, you could tell the air is cleaner when you use it. So uh, a, couple, a couple of people have been asking me about what I use. So I wanted to just give that a shout out here as well, since I'm doing this uh, Amazon haul, because it was like really cheap compared to some of the more expensive ones that um, probably just do the same exact thing. So. If you're uh, on the market for an air purifier, I highly recommend this one. I've had it now. I got it before uh, all this happened, so, but I only started using it. Um, when I really only I kept it in the box and didn't use it until the wildfires started up, and it really helped him out. So my son. So that's it. Okay, so I really should probably start with cheaper, something more cheap, but um, I'm gonna start with the most expensive item in my kitchen, I think. So here goes that. This is my Vitamix. There it is. I've had this for nine years, I believe. I got it right as my son was being born, right before or right after, I forget. I think it was right after. Um, I use it for everything now. I use, I. Personally, I bought it to make baby food because I was trying so many different items and I think I had like a, what did I have? A ninja, then I had something else and nothing really processed the food and made it like pureed the way I wanted, at least not easily. So I got this, the blades are still great. I haven't ever even sharpened them and yeah, it's been going on nine years. I got it refurbished on Amazon. So I'm going to share with you um, a refurbished one that you can check out or you can just you know try to find one on Amazon that's refurbished yourself or you can buy a brand new one but this is going on nine years and I got it like for 230 I believe when I bought it so that's nothing compared to how much they the new ones cost so I wanted to share that with you and on that note let's go all the way up here I have these Wean green containers here. I have a ton of them. They're super colorful. I do not really need all of these, but I have a problem. I really love these. So I just buy more and more and more because I like to use them to meal prep. So if I'm going to meal prep, I can literally use all these containers and have them color coded in my fridge. I know it's crazy, but I am super organized like that. So I originally got these um, when my son was a teeny weeny baby. And the one, the first set I got was like a mix. So I'm going to link that set because that one has like a few different sizes. So I think you'd get to know how great these are just from having those because you can throw whatever you want into this um, little container, take it as a snack to go. I mean, I just use these for everything. I use them all the time and since he was a baby. So you, yeah, you can use them for baby food, but yeah, just grab and go snacks, um, overnight oats, just literally anything, a tiny bit of milk that you have left over it and you don't want the big container in your fridge, whatever it is. I use these all the time for everything and I highly recommend them. I drop them all the, all the time and they never break. It, they're just, they're the best containers out there. And believe me, I've tried like different ones and these are just the most amazing. Right below me, I have this dish rack uh, in my sink with some clean dishes. 
And I will say, I've tried many dish racks out and I know it's a weird thing to be super excited about, but this one is amazing. I wish it was like full right now so I could show you how much it fits. It fits so many dishes here and I have it in my sink, but you can actually put it on the side as well. It has this little um, spout here so the water drains out of it. So you literally could keep it on your counter if you wanted to, but for space reasons, it just makes more sense to have it in the sink. Um, the one thing about it I will say that you have to keep up on is probably wash it once a week, you know, let it dry out completely. I just like tip it upside down and wash it and it's good to go just to keep from having mold growing or anything. But I like this idea better than having like any sort of mat or anything that it just gets soaking wet and gross and dirty. This has been my favorite thing to use um for dishes for drying dishes so if you don't have a dishwasher and you're looking for a really great uh drying rack this is my absolute favorite and i would say the um reviews on amazon are what sold me so that's why i got it moving on to the next thing that has to do with my sink I know most people are probably like, how can you be this excited about things in your sink? But this is another item that, I mean, it has lasted so long and it just made my life so much easier. This is just to hold the sponge and it literally just hangs right on over the, um, over the faucet and yeah, it just stays right in there. So I always have my sponge, I can drain it out. And I, I just, I love it. It just makes my life much easier than having the sponge, you know, lying around or, you know, any wetness around the sink. It just keeps it contained right there. So yeah, yeah, you need one of those, trust me. And it's like dirt cheap, so get one. Over here, I have my glassware. Now these right here are actually plastic. Um, I saw some on Amazon and I'll put them in the description box that are super expensive and they're not plastic, they're glass. But I break wine glasses all the time. I don't, I don't even drink wine. I don't even know why. I got these kind of as a decorative item and yeah, I don't, I might drink wine like once a year, but I haven't even touched wine at all this year. So why do I have these? Really just for decoration, which is crazy, but they're beautiful. And I really liked the glass ones. And if I was going to uh, have company, I would love to be able to serve uh, in either the glass ones or these, but these are not breakable so i'd prefer to use these that's why i ended up choosing these not just for the expense but yeah these are beautiful i can imagine like having like a special occasion and having you know serving wine in these or something they're beautiful and they go along with these down here these are glass um i bought these first and i love these i mean i just use them for like water iced tea whatever but they're just so pretty um, you know, I wanted my kitchen to be very like colorful and I wanted things on display. So I got these for that reason and I love them. And I bought this little, um, what would you even call this? I don't even know what you call this. It's like a little holder. I think it's like, kind of like a drying rack because it does have the sponge thing here, which is pretty neat. It was super cheap and it was good to just like be able to keep these on the counter and have my decorative little uh, glassware corner. So I got that. And then in front of that, I have this um, zero water um, water filter system. I wonder what you all use for water filtration. I would love to have something just attached to the faucet, but those are expensive. So I've actually had this for probably over 10 years now. And yeah, it's great. Um, I'll link it in the description as long as, as well as the, um, the filters that go with it. Cause I usually buy those on Amazon as well. Okay. So up here I have these beautiful bowls. They're really huge. Um, and then I have some really pretty plates up there. Let me show you them because they're really pretty and I just think they're great for like serving people. Um, I think you've probably already seen these on Amazon. Because, I mean, on uh, YouTube, if you watch any sort of videos like this, because everybody has them. I think it's Latouchi. 
Yeah, I think so. And it comes with six bowls. Or is it four? It's four bowls. And then five plates, I believe. I also have these up here. I haven't even used them. I'm not really gonna, I mean, I can link them below, but I haven't used them yet. So I can't really recommend or not recommend them. I got them for like my son to like see, sorry, how much he should be eating of everything because he typically just wants to eat that. <laughs> All right, and here's the the plates. They have just so much definition to them, which is why I think a lot of people like me who are into food and food photography like to buy them because they're just so pretty, but they're like super cheap. So if you just want them for like having people over, that's a great option too. Like buying something super expensive. Moving on to the other side of the kitchen, I have this huge set of, um, it's like dishware that you can use in the oven. You can obviously put whatever is in it in the fridge for leftovers, especially because it has the lid that goes on it. So you can cook your food in it and then you can, you know, let it cool off, put the lid on it and put it away when you're, you know, saving leftovers. And you can also use it as like a serving set because it has these pretty beautiful, um, glass covers i love this set it's just so simple yet so pretty so it has four four large um bigger ones i would say actually two pretty big ones like cas casserole casserole sizes and then these little ramekins and then those two back there so it's like a pretty decent set that you can use to serve food in and i just i fell in love with how pretty it is and it's so so cheap so i'll put that in the description box below down here i just have this beautiful um utensil holder um it kind of like matches that set that i was just showing you up there with the lines except they go in a different direction the reason i love this is it just holds like everything you know how you have like utensils like this and you're just like, well, where I can fit some of them in my utensil holder, but where do I put the rest? So this works out because I can literally put them all in here. That's why I absolutely love it. And in this drawer, there's only a few things in here that I would say I'm absolutely in love with. One of them is these um, little, what do you call them? Oh, I forget what you call these. They're not, they're, they're like uh, muffin liners, right? Is that how, what you said, call them? I don't know. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> um, I love these. And then you see this falling. This is my divider. So I'm not going to recommend that because <laughs> it's not really working out. And actually, they're not that bad. Um, oh, and you know what? I wanted to say, I will actually link the hooks that I have these glass, the glassware on as well on that note and i can link these they're not awful but you have to like stick them to the side and mine came off so yeah they're not that great so i won't really recommend those <laughs> um i will recommend this though this is my chopper let me just like put this on the counter for a second i want to show you how this works Okay, so this is super important because what it, what's the brand? I'll, I'll link it below, but it's a Vinny, Vinny something right there. So I, say, I think there's like a bunch of different brands. I don't know, but this is the one I bought and it's super cheap and it's amazing. So you just literally just pull this and it chops your vegetables for you. So I primar primarily use it for onions because I hate chopping onions. Um, but you can use it for anything. I would use it on like softer vegetables. So like if you're going to use it for carrots, you're going to want to like steam them first. But you can use it for any. I mean, you can use it for any vegetable. But like I said, if it's a hard vegetable, you're going to want to um, steam it first. Onions, you have to chop them into like big chunks first. But this thing saves me so much time in the kitchen. And this is like so small. I used to have a bigger one that I saw on Amazon that everybody was recommending. I forget the brand, but there's a bunch of them out there. 
but it like took up so much space, had so many attachments, and it was just irritating to me. You you know, every time you wanted to chop something, you had to find the attachment, and it was a pain to clean. This is like, this is gold in my kitchen. If there's one thing that you want to buy from my recommendations, please buy this. <laughs> Moving on, I bet every single person sees this in my videos every week. You might not see the whole thing because I'm covering it with groceries in front of it, but let me flip this light on. Um, this is my little coffee bar. So I have like a tiny apartment and I really, really, really wanted to have some sort of beautiful space for my coffee. I wanted it out on the counter. So, cause I used to have it like down there in that cabinet down there. And I don't know, in the morning, you know, you want to go get your coffee, you want it set up. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to look pretty. So <laughs> this is what I did. It's, this was, this is like my pride and joy of my kitchen. I think it's so beautiful, especially with the, the colorful mugs on the hooks above it. I love, 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 love this setup. So if you have a small space and you still want that coffee bar, this is, I'm going to link all of this below, everything that I have. So this was my first purchase, this but first coffee, um, because I needed something to hold everything. And then I bought this um, drip system to make my coffee. So you literally just put a filter in here and use the kettle to pour the liquid over it. And that's about it to make your coffee. And it's just delicious. Um, I like the drip method the best. I don't own a French, pre a French press. I never really liked those. Um, and then I got this beautiful coffee container it just holds hold on holds your coffee and i also invested in buying a cute little scoop i actually have another one too but this one is the one that's in here it has like a little animal on it it's it's beautiful it's so beautiful i love it so i know it's so weird to like set up your coffee in such a way but i wanted this to be perfect it's a keeper all of this is just going to be forever so i'll never buy anything else again for coffee and i did buy some of this on amazon too this um sugar-free vanilla i love starbucks so i i wanted to invest in making some stuff at home because it's cheaper um, and I got their Starbucks caramel syrup as well in a giant bottle. Um, I don't know how, how, like, I'm never going to use all of this. I need to invite people over because <laughs> I'm never using all of this. And I am partial to the vanilla, the sugar-free one. I really like that one. So that's that. And then I will also link these filters below because they're just perfect. They're the perfect um, size for this if you do plan on purchasing that. And... Then these coffee mugs are just gorgeous. They're just the color just pops in my kitchen and you know I want I want color in my kitchen. So, if you're looking for that aesthetic, these are the way to go. They're beautiful. So, if you have people over, tea, coffee, whatever, grab these mugs. They'll be impressed. And I have these little hooks up here to hang them on. So, if you have a small space, I'll link those and let you buy some of those as well. Um, and then the last thing over here for the coffee setup is just this kettle. This kettle I chose primarily based on color i wanted something to like pop and i really wanted orange so that was the only reason i got it it's great because it does what i want it heats up the water really fast and it gives me that pop of color that i was looking for so it's perfect for me <laughs> all right and then let's see this on the counter this um is a like it's like a it's a, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a cover. It's got a smiley face on it too. I don't know if you can see, probably not. There it is. There's the smile. You can't really see it, but these are great. 
I use these for leftovers. Like my son never finishes anything. He made himself some toast and he did not finish it. So here it is. And you know, when he's ready to eat it, it's got a cover on it and he can come on over and finish that up. So I love those. They're dirt cheap. I have, where are they? I have a ton of them. There's all different sizes. So like these adapt to like bowls, plates, um, cans, if you are putting like a can of something in the, in the fridge and you don't feel like putting it in a container, you know, they're just all different, all different sizes. It comes with a bunch of them and I keep them in this little, um, caddy here. This caddy, uh, came with this one, I believe. Yeah, it did. This is like a set. This is like my messy um charging drawer but i also have this um this thing for cutting foil and saran wrap and uh parchment paper and it comes with this which i ended up using for these lids so that's all a really great um space saver inside the drawer so i will share that with you and it's nothing in there but in here i have another um, caddy and I have it for like plastic bags like all the different sizes I don't use plastic bags that often but it's good to just have on hand and have them nice and organized for when you do need them and then I have these bags that I do use all the time they're reusable they're by SPLF is what it's called um, I will link them link them below I absolutely love these and I'll tell you why I've had a lot of reusable bags these are dirt cheap, dirt cheap. And they come with so many and just like all different sizes. And I use them every single day. So, and they dry out really easy. I just leave them, I put a little paper towel on them and they dry out on the counter perfectly fine. So you can wash them easily, dry them. These are the towels that I use for them because these are, these, um, these are like cloth paper towels. I have a little basket of them. I want a lot more. I They're expensive. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they're expensive, but they're worth every penny. The more you wash them, the more absorbent they get. And I use these daily. I do have paper towels. And there's another little uh, hook up there for the paper towel roll. I'll link that below too. But I do want to highly recommend these um, cloth towels. I think it's like an independent seller who's on Etsy, but she sells them on Amazon and she's amazing to work with. She will send you like a free one, I believe too, or like something different. And I think she sells cloth baby wipes too. And like some other great, like just really, really, really great products. And, um, but I'll, I will put that below and let's see what else do we got i'm not going to show you anything in the fridge because my very first video on amazon was um how i organized my fridge i did like a, a makeover of my fridge so i'll actually just link that right here so that you can check that out and see all the things that i have going on in there um and yeah let's see what else do i have there's a few more things. there's the fridge it's very messy right now <laughs> sorry but yeah you see like the colorful mats i have in there the pull out drawers yeah there's a there's a few things in there but i will share that video so that you can go and check that out some other time over here we got our cat dishes they're kind of gross right now um yeah i gotta clean those but he's got uh it's a set like these two little dishes and they come in this um thing that stands up high off the ground which is something he does better with than having like a freestanding bowl so I got him those and then up here behind my sweet potatoes I have these beautiful colorful mixing bowls that I absolutely love and I've had them forever um they're by a company called bamboozle and it's you can find them on Amazon and it also has it just has all these different sizes they're just so pretty that's why I got them um, but they've lasted forever so they're great and I want to show you they're made out of bamboo um I also have the like matching measuring spoons and the measuring cups and that's all that's in this cabinet and the very last thing is this swing chair 
it is in my kitchen. <laughs> it is wonderful. Uh, I did get it on Amazon and it's just, I mean, it's great. It's super noisy. It has this like squeak happening, <laughs> but I'm sure I can use w, W40 or whatever to make that go away, but I haven't yet. But I will say this chair has made my life complete in this kitchen. It's right by my balcony. So I get to watch birds and my cat usually hangs out over here with me. My son loves this chair. It's just so relaxing and yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. It was so cheap <laughs> and I was not expecting it to be so wonderful because of how cheap it was. It came within two days of ordering it and it was, um, put together in less than five minutes. I was like, I thought it was gonna take forever and no, it, it's just, it's perfect. It complements everything in my apartment perfectly. And I suggest you do get one because it's super relaxing, but it is probably the most expensive thing on this, um, this Amazon haul. So, that's it that's all i got for you i hope you did like this haul um give it a thumbs up and i will see you next week with um another grocery haul yeah and i hope you subscribe to my channel it's going to help me make more and more and more videos for y'all and show you what i have going on in my apartment bye